All right, in this video, we are going to look at how to link animations together um, to have a nice, smooth transition, and we're going to do that with delay. Um, maybe you've messed with the delay, but sometimes you want the delay to reverse. And here's what I'm saying. Here's a video from a KOWP user. You can see that they have two animations. Um, and when I, press, when I press play on this video, you're going to see the square scroll, and then it's going to scale in after it's done scrolling, because that's the delay that they have set up. But then when they press this little button down here, I'm assuming this is a button, um, what's going to happen is it's going to kind of like close out of this animation, but it's going to repeat the process again. So you're going to see a scroll, then a scale. It's going to get bigger. And then when you see it move away again, it's going to scroll and scale back to its normal size. And that's not, that's not what we want to happen. Uh, let me go ahead and play this video and show you. Notice you'll see a scroll and then a scale in. And now it's going to scroll and scale back. Notice scroll, scale, scroll, scale. That's not what we want here. What we want is a scroll, then a scale. Then we want it to scale back and scroll off, if that makes sense. And this is what I'm talking about. So notice I have a little square over here. Here's my button. First of all, we're going to see a scroll, then a scale. So scroll, scale. See that? Now when I press this again, it's going to scale first, then scroll. How do we do it? Here we go. KOWP. So this is going to be a very basic setup. I have an on-off switch. And what the whole what goes behind it is alternating the delays. Um, and hopefully you, you'll understand what I'm talking about as I go through it. So I have an on-off switch, and basically I have that thing right there. Hopefully you are familiar with how to apply touches, but basically if I touch this button, it's going to cut uh, that switch. Well, let me see. There we go. That's what's toggling this switch. Now you can't, it's not actually flipping this, but watch this. If I flip this to on, boom, boom. Now if I cut it off, scale, scroll. Okay, that's what that thing's doing. If I touch that star, it's toggling that global switch. But that's not the, the issue here. The issue is getting this thing to work and alternate those delays. So I have that square that you can see over here. And uh, actually I have it positioned in the center of my screen, but you may notice, well, it's over here. Well, the way I have the animation set up is I have um, a scroll and I have a scale in. Let me go to global switch. Go, scroll, I have it set to inverted. Now, um, basically what that does, if I set this back to normal, it's going to scroll from its position. But if I have it set to inverted, it's actually going to start scrolling from wherever the normal scroll would end, I guess you could say. Um, you want it, I want it to start over here, and I want it to scroll to the center, and then I want it to scale in. So I got that set up. Duration, um, however long you want the animation to last, 10 stands for one second. Adjust your speed accordingly. Basically, if I start bumping this speed up, you might start seeing the square kind of like uh, going off the screen. Um, so you can adjust your speed, adjust your angle to your liking. And now the delay, you know, right now I don't want the scroll to be delayed any. So when I press this button, I want the scroll to happen first, and then I want it to scale. So watch what happens. Scroll scale okay but now I want the scroll to wait because watch what happens again when I press this button I want the scroll to wait I want it to scale back first so scale scroll well here's how we do that we apply code to the delay if GVGO is zero then I want to have a delay of 10 or which is one second otherwise I don't want a delay so if GVGO is zero Basically, when that switch, and i tell you what I can do to show you this for demonstration purposes. Here's what I'm going to do. Let me add some text. And for this text, I'm just going to call it GVGO so we can see the values of that on-off switch. This is just for teaching purposes. Bump that size up. Let me save it. And here's what I want to happen. Right now, when I press this button, GVGO is going to become 1. When GVGO is 1, I don't want the scroll to be delayed, but I want the scale to be delayed by a second. So notice it's going to scroll, then it's going to scale. And that's when GVGO is going to be 1. Boom, boom. See, we had scroll, then scale. Now if I cut this thing off, if I set GVGO to 0, I want the scroll to be delayed. But I don't want the scale. When it zooms back down to its original size, I do not want that to be delayed. And that's exactly what's going to happen right now. Scale, scroll. All right? And as you can see, it is changing the value up there. And again, that's just for teaching purposes. So now let's go back to that shape, and let me show you how 
I have that delay coded one more time. Let me go to scroll. Let me go down to its delay code. So if GVGO is zero, when that global variable becomes zero, I want a delay of 10, which is one second. Otherwise, I don't want a delay. So that's where you have to be careful. Now, you may say, okay, I understand that. Now, what do I do to the scale in? Um, you can adjust all these settings in here. Oops. You can adjust all these settings you see here. But now, basically, you're reversing um, with this on-off switch. An on-off switch is either going to be zero or one. Zero if it's off, one if it's on. Well, I want the scale to have a delay when I cut the switch on. So basically, this is saying if the switch is on, if GVGO is equal to one, I do want to have that delay of 10. But if it's not one, basically, when I cut the switch off, I do not want to have that delay. Because when you cut the switch off, GVGO is not going to be one. I hope that makes sense. That's how I'm alternating those two delays. Um, that's what's making the scroll come first in this particular animation. Scroll, then scale. Let me see. Boom, boom. So scroll, scale. Now it's going to scale, scroll. Because I'm reversing the code, so to speak, in my delay. I hope that makes sense. Now, if that does make sense, or even if it doesn't, comment below and let me know. But check this out. You can actually link multiple of multiple things together by not using a on-off switch, but using a list global variable. And let me show that to you real quick. So now what you see here are three squares. Um, I have a I, what I've changed here, and I'm not going to get into detail on this one, but you can uh, you have a list global variable. You know I've mentioned this text and list global variables, two of my favorite globals to use. I very rarely use the on off switch because um, now I can toggle between all of these. So you know that's my list. I'm going to say that I'm going to go back to my home screen, and basically what this is doing now, this little button is going to uh, toggle between the blue, the red, or the white, and you're going to see those same animations happen. So let me show you that right now. There's the blue one. Now when I press it again, I think it becomes red. So you're going to see the blue one scale back down, then scroll off the screen, but at the same time, you're going to see the red scroll and scale. See that? Now you may say, uh-oh, what happened with the red? Well, I didn't set the scale to be from the correct part of my module. I should have done like module bottom. I'll fix that right here in a second. But notice my global variable, my list global variable go is red now. If I come to here and touch this again, it's going to become white. So there's the white one doing its thing. And this is very nice and smooth and fluid. It, it transitions nicely because as one scales out and scrolls off, the other one is scrolling on the screen and then scaling. So I hope you can see the nice transition that we have going on there. And um, to make that even nicer, I could, of course, this has nothing to really do with uh, this particular video, but if I go to that red animation and the scale, you might have noticed that the whole square, we didn't see the whole red square a moment ago. All I have to do is change this to module bottom, and that should fix that red square. And actually, if I come in here and I adjust the size down a little bit, let me adjust these sizes down to 10. You may notice that I'm, I really have some of the same animations going on, but since I'm using a list global variable, uh, some things do operate a little bit different in the fact that, which one is that, the blue one? Uh, the animations don't operate on a global switch anymore. They operate on a formula. But uh, I do have plenty of videos on you know how to get things to animate based on the uh, list global variable. What am I doing? I'm trying to talk and do something at the same time. That's what the problem is. And I bet I jacked that blue one up. Animation, scale in. Yeah, let me bump that down to 10. I think I was messing with the wrong thing a moment ago, but uh, now this should look quite nice. So right now we're at none. None means none of these are going to do the scrolling and scaling, but now you know, there's the blue one. Here comes the red one. Let's see, did I fix the red? Yes, now the red's fixed. And here comes the white. How do you like that? I hope that makes sense. Now, if I press it one more time to make it become none, that's going to close that one and nothing else happens. But uh, if you need some help on doing that with the list, um, submit a request. And that's it. That's an animation tip on using delays and alternating your delays when you're trying to animate an object. And that's it for this video. Hope it helped.